Here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Hurricane's belief that he can overcome anything is showing through. He's bubbling over with confidence. Got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. That was a fine block by Hurricane. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Hit the body! Hurricane's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. And he's holding. Keep your distance. Good job protecting himself. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Kane showing you a little defensive skill there. I better move away from that punch. <laughs> that right hand over the top lands flush. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Hurricane's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. We come to the end of the round, and he really got to his opponent that time, Teddy. He stunned him. Oh, he stunned him. He's hearing a little tweeting going on, a little singing from the birds in his head. 
All right, cut them off. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Now he ties up there. He thinks of himself as a home run hitter, Teddy, but he's been striking out tonight. And he looks like a pitcher who's lost complete sight of the catcher's mid. I mean, he cannot throw a strike. Hurricane's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. in with the overhand left. Missed the body shot. Halfway through this round. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Crashes home a headshot after blocking his opponent. Blocks that belt line well. Kane's defense is paying off now. Now hugging on the inside. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. This round comes to an end, and Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten them up. Number three is underway. That's a well-scored left hand by Hurricane. Hurricane's well off the mark that time. Pace yourself. He's tight. He's tight. Able to cover up that gut. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old timers used to say when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. You're not focusing. Nice block. <laughs> Hurricane's able to avoid that punch. Good job staying away from the danger there. Focus. 
Crashes home with a hook. Blocks away that headshot. Hurricane's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that? And bang, and away he goes. There he goes. He goes down from that headshot. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but... If he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Oh, you're doing great. Uppercut. Can't work in the body. Targeted counterpunch by Hurricane. Well, he's committed to the left hand, and it's paying off here. Left to the body. I shake it off! You're still not moving enough. Move, move! Nice work. Side to side. Move your head. Hurricane's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And that's the end of round three. Every time you throw that jab, I want to see you land that overhand, right? Don't go straight in. Give him a little faint first. All night long, this is your fight. You are in All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? Slip his punch, then throw a straight right down the middle. Listen, I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take those shots. Start of round number four, and Teddy's scorecard a very easy one to read. Three rounds to none. Of course, his opponent's gone down already, so he can just build upon that lead at this point. Well, his opponent's acting like a guy who hasn't eaten for a week, and he's being fed, fed right hands. Tying up again here after being knocked down. What should his opponent be doing to deal with this? See, that's the right question. We're just looking at the guy grabbing. His Come opponent on, is allowing him to grab. You know, it takes two to tangle to do that dance. His opponent that's should be taking out. a step back. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. And yet another big shot comes in. One off hook to the body, and he is down and in bad shape. Fight. Hurricanes gun down yet another opponent, a knockout victory. Teddy, there's a lot of explaining to do here, but help me with this. Was this early knockout out of left field a product of one guy being prepared and the other guy just not ready for it? No, obviously he wasn't ready, wasn't prepared in the gym, but I think he came out cold from the locker room, never knew what hit him. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time at the fights.